Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will talk about fundamental principle of counting. Let us begin! If one event can occur in M ways and another event can occur in N ways, then these events can occur in M times N ways provided that the two events are independent events. Let us have some examples. Example number 1, how many two-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? The two independent events in forming the two-digit numbers are number 1, choosing the first digit, and number 2, choosing the second digit. For the first digit, there are 5 options. It is either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. For the second digit, there are also 5 options. Multiplying this, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. There are 25 two-digit numbers that can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Example number 2, how many three-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 9? In this example, there are three independent events, first digit, second digit, and third digit. There is a restriction for the first digit. To form three-digit numbers, the first digit is a non-zero. So there are only five options for the first digit. It is either 1, 2, 4, 5, or 9. There is no restriction for the second and third digits. For the second digit, there are six options. For the third digit, there are also six options. 5 times 6 times 6 is equal to 180. There are 180 three-digit numbers that can be formed. Example number 3, how many ways can 5 books be arranged on a shelf? There are 5 spots on a shelf. For the first spot, there are 5 books to choose from. For the second spot, there are only 4 books left since one of the books is already on the first spot. For the third spot, three books, fourth spot, two books, and one book for the last spot. Five times four times three times two times one is equal to 120. There are 120 ways to arrange the books. Example number four, two dice are rolled. How many possible outcomes are there? There are two independent events, outcome of the first die and outcome of the second die. There are six possible outcomes for the first die. There are also six possible outcomes for the second die. Six times six is equal to 36. There are 36 possible outcomes in rolling two dice. Example number 5, how many three-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 3, 5, 8, and 9 if repetition is not allowed? We will form three-digit numbers. There are five options, 1, 3, 5, 8, and 9. Since repetition is not allowed, there are five options for the first digit only 4 options for the second digit and 3 options for the third digit. 5 times 4 times 3 is equal to 60. There are 60 3-digit numbers that can be formed. Example number 6, 8 runners join a race. In how many ways can they be arranged as first, second, and third placers? There are three independent events, first place, second place, and third place. For the first place, there are eight choices. 
7 for the second place, and 6 for the third place. 8 times 7 times 6 is equal to 336. There are 336 ways. We are done illustrating fundamental principle of counting or fundamental counting principles. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.